Okay, so today I want to talk about the new stomp and capture features in MA3. I'm really excited about these because they're going to make my life so much easier when I'm programming sequences. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, let's set this up. So let's start by running some sort of effect. Let's do like a strobe here. Uh, let's go over to speed on dimmer. Let's like slow this down to like, I don't know, 200 BPM. And let's bring this down onto the stage. Okay. All right. So we all have kind of become accustomed to the stomp function. You hit the stomp, please, it stops this, right? Please. There, it's now stopped, yay. Um, let's go back, I don't like that, that's so fast. Um, well, MA has made it easier to stomp things now. I'm very excited about this. So, go into your, uh, your preset, edit setting. You're gonna see a new thing over here, stomp. All right, so, what this is going to do, I'm going to make it yourself, it's yellow, or let's go out of it, is if I hit this now, I have my effect running, my phaser, it's automatically stomped it. So it's made this preset a stomp preset. This is really, really helpful because like if you have a ton of um, sequences or something, you know, a ton of effects running, um, and like you know that you're always going to stomp it or, you know, you're commonly going to stomp it to a full, you know, intensity or, you know, whatever. You can quickly uh, hit that, make sure that that is set to stomp in here. And then it will automatically stomp it just by hitting preset. So there's no more, especially on the on PC version, which is really helpful. You don't have to like go and, you know, go into your command section, hit stomp, please. It's just less keystrokes and you don't need a macro to do it, which is nice. So that's really helpful. You can do that with anything, like you can set pretty much anything to be a stomp preset. Really, really helpful. The other thing is the new capture function. So um, what stomp does uh, in MA is it will stop your effect running and will go to like the first step of the effect, right? Um, or whatever you know preset value you have set in case in this case, right? But let's say we're gonna go Put that on full there. All right. But let's say we like, we love this look and we want to stop the effect. We don't want to like have it stomp and then just go down to its, you know, its first step or go up or whatever. We want to just like stop the effect. Well, then we can use capture. So you'll see if you hit stop once, it puts stop on the command line, hit it again. You'll see it, put ca it puts capture on the command line, hit please. And, and now it's stopped it, but you'll notice it hasn't stopped it at a full position. See how all these are still spread out? This probably isn't the best example because these are kind of look linearly aligned, but this has actually stopped it at the uh, values that it was at. Not, it hasn't done anything. So we'll do the same thing here. So let's say if we, let's set this down to the stage or, you know, a little bit of blind or something. Let's go to phase over here. Let's put like a full phase on there. All right, and now let's go capture, please. And it stopped it with the red and the orange um, distributed around there. So capture is really helpful if you just wanna stop an effect, but keep it at the look that it was at. Um, and stomp will just completely stop it. So those are that's how capture and stomp has been introduced uh, and reused in MA3 version 1.5. Really helpful, check it out.